All right, back with uh, Operation Unthinkable, Strategy and Tactics 333 issue, simulating uh, Churchill's or Allied tentative plans, maybe even Patton's dream for attacking the Soviets maybe a month or two after the, uh, actually if I understand it, the Germans uh, surrendered in the first week of May, so yeah, it's about two, two months and now the Allies, the Western Allies, are attacking the Soviets, um, hoping to drive through off this map for this game and then take Poland and <coughs> then have Stalin go to the negotiating table and uh, let Poland stay under the Western Ally area of influence. Um, so we have a kind of a broad front attack here. Lots of units. These are actually German volunteer units on their own up here. And we've got the UK, the Poles, uh, there's some Canadians mixed in here, etc. And then down in the south we have the US. The goal is for the Western Alley player to get five units off the board here by the end of the game <coughs> in supply. Uh, the first attack, first turn attack for the Western Allies, um, not large progress, did cause losses. Uh, this river line here is pretty strong. They were able to cross in a number of places. Um, and then of course here they're closest to the edge. Uh, there is no river here, so maybe they can make more progress. And if we look at the Deadpool, yeah, a number of Soviet infantry that don't come back are gone. So part of this is actually the Western Allies trying to attrition the Soviets. So by the end of the game they don't have enough units to cover the front. We'll see um, if that works out. This is my first playthrough so there is a certain learning of the rules too involved. So and now it is, if we look at the sequence of play, and this is a I don't think it's new, but it's uh, something that Ty Bomba started doing again. I also see this process in, um, I forgot what it's called, Case Gelb, I think, in the next Paper Wars over at Compass Games, using this where each player can decide whether to do a combat phase and then movement, or movement and then combat. Um, so the Allies actually set up adjacent, so they did a combat. And then a movement, but they didn't really get any large breakthroughs to take advantage of a lot of, you know, breakthrough movement. Uh, the other thing is zones of control are leaky. You can move from Zok to Zok. You just got to stop. So now it's a Soviet. They need to choose whether they're going to move or combat first. Uh, go back and forth. I mean, if the Soviets wanted to fight them on the line, <coughs> they would choose movement and then set up some attacks. But the Soviets win just by running the clock out, actually. Um, so, at least for the Soviets, I'm looking at this turn, they'll, they'll maybe do a few attacks, but then movement, and the goal of their movement will be disengagement, and then forcing the Western Allies to move first, and then attack, as opposed to staying engaged, and the Western Allies potentially getting a breakthrough in combat, and then moving through it. So with that said, the Soviets are going to attack first, and there aren't that many real opportunities, um, maybe here, because they've got this artillery unit, and the defense is 14. Uh, so even with this 12, that's 30. Soviets could get a 2 to 1. Um, let's see what that looks like. And they attack on the Soviet line 2 to 1. Got some DRs, got a bloodbath, but by the same time we got an AL-1, which means one of the Soviets would be eliminated and the other would be, um, I don't know what a gain of a DR would get you. So bloodbath is the only one we're, we're hoping for on 2 to 1 to get um, a bloodbath result. Well, there's a DE. No, I'm oh, sorry, I'm on the wrong column. Here it is. Uh, two to one, yeah, two DRs, a BBs, or AL1. Um, and AL1, the problem is, then the other, 
Yeah, if we get a bloodbath, both sides use one step and then the defender has to retreat. Oh, why not? Let's just push it here. So, um, these two guys are attacking him. It's one to one, then you throw in the artillery in it, and it's two to one. So, I'm going to just use this. Yeah, control M. This is my way of knowing who attacks. So, these two and this unit, two to one. And we roll the die, and they get a three, two to one. Oh, wait, uh, two to one, three, and that's what they wanted. They wanted a bloodbath. Uh, so he gets a step loss. He gets eliminated. I mean, he's got nowhere to retreat. Uh, now, with a bloodbath, then I could eliminate one more and force them to retreat, but that's not my goal. So that's it. We're going to stop that attack there, and we've used the artillery in it here. It looks like the only reasonable place Soviets can attack is where they can employ their artillery unit. Problem here is that's 28, um, and 5, 11, well, 11 and 12 is 23. 23 and 6 is 29. But then you throw in an 18. That's not going to be enough. We're going to have a straight 1 to 1. Better than 50% chance the Soviets are going to lose. But there's a BB and a DR. Well, that could really slow them down. So let's do it. Uh, let's control M. So we got 5. Five and six is eleven. Eleven and twelve is twenty-three. I think that's one. Twenty-nine. Then twenty-nine and eighteen is thirty-nine. Is forty-seven. Well, twenty-nine, forty-seven to twenty-seven. That's over the fifties. So there's really no advantage using the artillery unit here. It won't change the odds. Well, it's worth it anyhow. So we have a one-to-one -one here. A big one-to-one. -one. Let's see what happens. Four. Okay, Soviet one-to-one. -one. Four. Nope. That would have been nice, and that would have been real nice, but that's an AL-1. And all it is is the attacker loses one step. So uh, just looking at this. No, let's do this. Let's delete one of these. It was worth it. So that's done. This 18 one, really one, two, three, can't be employed reasonably anywhere. So moving on around, nothing there. Nothing here. Um, no artillery unit here. There's no artillery units back here. Here's one. Uh, but I believe these guys are too strong. Yep, that's another 26, 29. Uh, they could get a 1 to 1. 6, 6, and 7. 12 and 7 is 19, plus the 18. That's worth it. Let's. 1, 2, 3. Um, this one's a little less. 7 and 6 is 13. You know, should I attack here or should I attack here? And I'm hoping for a DR. Uh, 12 and 14 is 26. 26 to 13. They could get a 1 to 1 here. So they can do a 1 to 1 here or a 1 to 1 here. <coughs> Um, let me check if retreat. So, um, this is a better one to attack if they have to retreat. They lose a step. If a stack or unit retreats into an Ezoc, one unit must lose one step, not covered by another one. So we'll do the attack down here at one-to-one. -one. 
and see if we get lucky. So one to one on three. That's Soviet one to one, one, two, three, bloodbath. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Um all right, so the Soviets will use this, will lose this one. Each side loses one. And let's see, we'll make the infantry lose one. Now, if the Soviets eliminated this, then they'd have to retreat, but it really doesn't matter. They don't have the thing, so they're not going to keep doing the bloodbath. Oh, no chance for that attack, no artillery. So this unit um, actually did attack. Let's get our markers here. Okay. So we reviewed, reduced some allies, and they don't. There's no replacements. Um, only eliminated units come back for the Western allies, and they come back at reduced strength, <coughs> with no chance of going to full strength again. So that does help. Um, an artillery unit here. What? But nobody's in range of this back, so there's probably no attack here. But I do have an artillery unit here. One, two, three. They could attack there. So I, that's 12, 20, 6, to 30. So I would have to use the artillery unit, but I'd still have a 1 to 1. All right, let's do that. Include all these units. This guy here. So we got a one to one on the American attack there. Die roll is two. Soviet one to one two. Another bloodbath. Wow. Uh, no, we don't want to lose it from the. So we're going to have to lose it from the infantry unit. We're going to have to fix this. Yeah. See, the problem is if I. He's dead, so I'm not going to do it to him. Going to do it to him. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Um, Soviets can eliminate a step and then force them to retreat. Thought I had. Well, we already eliminated. Oh, we got two more six fives over here. So, let's do this. Just, uh, we will. We're losing units like flies. But that now forces the Western ally to either lose one more step or retreat back across the river. That's an interesting choice. Um, because we got the breakthrough here, this one isn't as critical and it's pretty blocked up, so they're just going to fall back. Uh, which means these guys can move up there. So we'll see what happens there. Any other attacks here? I use this one. I don't have another artillery unit. This actually is where I should have attacked. But the nearest one is over here. One, two, three. So. And that's going to be 30. 5, 14, 20. Nope, 26 short. That would be a 1 to 2 unless this guy had done it. So maybe in hindsight I should have pushed this guy back, but I'm not going to do an attack there. Let's see down here with my artillery what they can do. This is really the one you want to get. But I can get 6, and that's half down to 9. That's 27. 10. Well, it's a 2 to 1. That's a 2 to 1. And they have to retreat to Zoc if they get a retreat. They have to retreat to a supply source. So that's going to be an attack. Yeah, I remember when I was deciding to advance that guy. I shouldn't have done it. Let's see what happens. 2 to 1 Soviets. Ouch. That's probably not good. Nope. Flub. AL1. Wow. That one was hopeful. So it's got to come from this guy, this guy, not that guy. Um, I'm going to eliminate this guy. Uh, 
Okay, and we got one more. 18-1, is there any? Well, <laughs> oh, too bad. That's 26 to 24 and 18. That's a one-to-one. -one. I don't know if that's even worth it. One-to-one uh, -one on Soviets. Well, any one of these results, 50-50 shot. Otherwise, we're doing an AL1. And I can eliminate that guy. So we'll do it. One-to-one. -one. Um, I don't need to mark them because that's the last units. One-to-one -one Soviet. Three. Soviets, one to one, three. Bloodbath. Actually, I'm liking that result for the Soviet. Step loss. Soviets will lose this unit. Now, if the Soviets eliminate one more unit, the Allies have to retreat, but that's not worth it. So that's good enough. So we're at 16 minutes. That's the combat phase. Going to move this off. We're going to come back over here, and we're going to decide on how we're going to move. Like I said, the strategy would be to disengage. Um, dang, we got Zock here, Zock here. This guy's stuck, so he's going to just pull here. Um, this guy can disengage properly. And since we're not adjacent, I don't have to worry about a solid line. So these guys are like pull back here. Well, first thing is, um, this is going to be tough to figure out here. Artillery unit, move them back here. This guy back here. Back here. Okay, nobody's adjacent, so the allies can't start with an attack. Um, this guy needs to get out of dodge. Actually, if they want to attack, I should stack. I'll stack that guy. And the artillery is in position to cover either of them. This guy's moved. This guy can pull off the line. One, two, three. I don't know if I'm giving him enough too much ground. But let's pull him there. Well, that's going to leave this guy exposed, so... Um, what happens if I put him there? Then the Germans can at least go there. Then attack in advance. Oh, that's why... We hmm. uh, let's see if they succeed there. They go there, they go there. Well, let's let's leave that for now. That's fine. Don't want to give up the river line. Hmm. So, all right. I think I'm just making this harder than it has to be. Let's leave that guy there. Let's put this guy here. Um, I'd like to put somebody here, because that's where they can bleed through. Let's put that guy there. One, two, three. Okay, so that's the river line. Um, we're just going to have to defend him here. This 10-9 is pretty powerful. Uh, I think that's all good. Uh, I mean, would this guy want to attack forward into the forest? I don't know. Would we want to put the 10-9 here? Uh, that's a threat. Uh, let's put him here. Let's put this guy here. Okay. Kind of wish I'd push that guy back. This line just holds here. Um, oh, there's a lot of units there. Whoops. How did I get two? Oh, because there was two. Let's put the other one here. And the artillery here. This line's going to hold. So, will this guy keep attacking forward this way? I doubt it, but we'll put this guy 
here in reserve. Um, I could probably move these guys, but we'll keep them there. No real attack here. So here's where we need to extricate ourselves. And it looks like this guy can get out. One, two, three. I think that's one, two, three, four. He could go there. Why would I go there? Prevent bleeding. That guy will go there. This guy can only go here. This guy can only go here. That's fine. Keep him on the river. Okay, this is a problem. This guy needs to fall back. Okay, these guys are the problem here. Um, let's see what we can do with them. Uh, these all stay. That'll bottle up that. This stays. This guy could go down and around. So let's just sacrifice these guys to pin them. I wonder if the allies will be tempted with attacking first here. <coughs> but we've got... Okay, this is the problem over here. That's the big problem. So one, two, three, four. We could ship these guys down. Uh, what could... S how would we slow these Americans down? Probably these woods here. So let's look at this. Time to finally examine here. We got mech units 12, non-mech 8. So, and then we look at the terrain effects. And we see that forest is 2. Yeah, forest 2, marsh 3, plus 2 hex. Okay, so I always forget there. That's 12 with a 2. So they've probably got enough horsepower to get, enough speed to get down there. The question is, what do we want to, these, these all can leak through if they wanted. Hmm. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The question is, am I, should I keep these guys contained? Should I build a line kind of along here? Get rid of that bulge. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, he can go there. So that may be the pivot point of our defense. So they're potentially going here, but I'm not going to sacrifice anyone. Um, let's see. Put this guy here. So now we've got this artillery unit. And let's see, one, two, three. He can actually support both sides, so I can put him here. Um, this guy doesn't need to stay here. Two, four, five, six. Okay. So we've got a hole right there. Maybe I should go here. Uh, let's see what these guys are. Oh, these guys don't need to belong there. Uh, where do I need reinforcements? Not here. These guys can shift. And they've got high speed with those guards units. So I'll shift these guys. One, two, wait, let's see what's the safest way to get there. Wow, that gets ugly. Wrong chart. Let's look at this. Marsh. Well, look at that. Just one for everything. Okay, so these guys can just move 12. 1, 2, well, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So they could get all the way over here if I had to. So where would I need it? Well, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's 
There's nobody behind to develop that attack. Let's move them here. All right. Uh, we're good except for here, so should we just try and hold this line? They're going to attack out of here. I've got, well, I do have reinforcements. Solid reinforcements there. So the question is, which way would they attack out of here? Um, let's see. All right, well, let's see here. So I'm going to stay engaged all down here. This is the one where I'm going to have to... Wow, that's a lot of horsepower. I didn't get this guy. That was a problem. He's going to do that. And that's about all he can do. Uh, and now these guys probably want to... Uh, fall back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They can get across the river, but they don't have to necessarily. Uh, this guy's going to have to go across. You can set this guy up as a screen. Uh, let's put him here, him here. Um. Wow, two ten nines. Wow. Oh, let's see. I'm tempted to put them there. Sixteen is pretty strong, and they can't get us surrounded. But that town's important, so let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see here, here. One, two, three. He can cover all of that. And this guy can go here. And then I can take these guys as my reserves. Uh, hold on. And I can put them... Yeah, in secondary. One, two, three, four. I can put one here, one here. This guy will go back to here. And this guy... Hmm. I'll just put him here. And, oh, this guy's got to run. He could run here, or he could run there. Let's run here. That shields that guy a little. Yeah, they can only attack this guy from one hex. Could have pulled him back, but we'll... Now, this is a problem. Maybe I should have put him over here. Uh, let's see how much these guys can do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, they can go all the way to here. Yeah, we're forcing them to move. And the American breakout here is... Okay, he's safe. Let's see what the American breakout here looks like. I think we're almost at the end. Yeah, 30 minutes. A lot of pieces to move here. Uh, and then we go to the reinforcement phase. Uh, let's see. Where am I worried about trouble here? Well, let's move him here. Next turn, we can use him. Okay. Yep, I think that's it for the Soviet move. So my plan of disengaging...
well, wasn't quite what I thought it was. I'm going to slow them down and see what happens. So let's go to the reinforcement phase. Check that out. All right, so, so for the Soviet reinforcement phase, um, roll 1d6, add a game turn, which is number one, so I'll add one for that. And then we did start on the Elba, so we'll add one. So we'll add two. So the Soviets get eight. <laughs> if you're going to roll, roll big. Let's see. Where would I place them? If I want to reinforce this flank, I want to be on the Autobahn, so I'll go here. Yeah. And if I want to reinforce here, yeah, it's going to be harder to reinforce here. There's no crossroad. Yep, let's see what we get here. So we go to the... I think that's it right here, yeah. Let's see if I can draw eight. Draw multiple. Eight. Let's see what we get. Huh. Gonna have to put them here and see what we get. Could be messy. Let's see if I can do a flip command. Unmask. Um, wow, well, lots of infantry. Let's see what we got here. One got a 10 9, that's good. Got another armor unit, another mech, more infantry. Yep, a whole bunch of infantry. I can stack these by twos. So, let's see. Well, I'm going to need them down here. Yeah. And what do we get? We got one big 10-9. We'll put that here. And an infantry unit. Um, everything else is sixes. So put this here. Put this here. And let's see, we want reinforcements up here, but there's no easy way to bring them in. Yeah. Put this guy here. This guy here. And then we just need two more. And we'll just put them right here. They can pick up the road movement right later. So that's the end of the Soviet turn. I have no context to evaluate who's winning at this point, although the losses for the Soviets are growing. Oh my goodness. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked. I mean, we did reduce some allies, but was it worth that? That could be the problem here. We'll see. They look like they have enough here now, and they can shorten their lines quickly here. Um, potentially then they could shorten it again here. And we're getting some shortening here if these guys get out. So, all right, looking at the turn sequence. Um, did the Soviet reinforcement. Allied recycling phase. Oh, let's take a look at that. We'll finish it out. Um, Recycling, recycling, Soviet units below. Two-step units, it's okay. Recycling procedure, every turn. Basically says during each turn, the Allied player place their eliminated recycling units off to the side of the map. Allied player recycles, pick one eligible unit at a time. Roll 1d6 and modify, plus one if it's a UK unit. Number of game turns before the unit appears again. If it's a two-step unit, it comes in reduced, so. We can see here from the eliminated units, or the Deadpool, there's two UKs. So I add one, and that's how many turns ahead of time they come back. So the Canadians, six. Six and one is seven. Well, almost the last turn. There we go. And the other one, nice, two. Three, turn three. So that's when 
they come back. All right, so that's the recycling phase. And we're done. A lot of infantry being lost here. Okay. And the move here. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a decision. Move, then combat, or combat, then move. So we'll have to look at that for the next turn. Again, thanks for listening. If you like, click like. And if you uh, subscribe, you'll get alerts when I do it again. So see you at the turn two, Western Allies.